they're, they're, they're disconnect. The level of disconnect by these Tories is just unfathomable. It really is. And that chief Tory, <laughs> Richie Sunak, he's just, he's on another planet. Who in their right mind thinks it's a good idea to leave the D-Day remembrance early? I just... German Chancellor state. Biden state. Keir Starmer's there. Even Nigel Farage is there. So what's Richie Sunak just done? He's just handed over. Remember the kind of people and... Yeah, this is... Well... Base voter. All them lot, they, they seem to think they're in the war. You know? Didn't fight the war for this! You know, Brexit and all that. But, you know, they're just... They're just going to... Well, look at this now. and uh, Actually, they're absolutely disgusted, they are. And uh, they're going to vote reform. In fact, reform's votes have gone up. Tories have come down a bit, but also Labour. In the polls, that is. I just, this level of stupidity you don't expect from somebody who is supposed to be running the country, ruining it more like. You see, that man is our representative as British citizens. What he does reflects on us. What he does puts an impression in the minds of uh, European citizens and what have you, or, you know, other citizens around the world will be Africans, Asians, or whatever. Americans, Americans. <laughs> it reflects on us. By well, association, you see, it's just how it is, that's life, it's just what goes on. And he thought it was a great idea to leave early, just so he could have an interview with the ITV as a part of his campaign, election campaign. It wasn't even official business for the country. If he was buggering off, maybe, to press the button, maybe you'd understand, you know? But no, it was there to, <laughs> at ITV, back to the UK, to have an interview, an interview, about him. And what do we learn? We learn that the man has zero empathy, zero. He has no compassion. He's totally disconnected from ordinary folk. He tells us that his very first uh, apartment had to be in uh, oh, was it, California somewhere, yeah. And it was $20,000 a month. 20000 That is a man who has no idea whatsoever about ordinary folk trying to get by. Zero empathy. Now, anyone who's a uh, regular to this channel will know I, from day one, I've had no respect for that man whatsoever. I didn't trust him. His, his eyes were too spaced out. And too, well, my, actually, as my mother would say, oh, his eyes are too close together. <laughs> I hate them. From the, and I still do. Not because of his ethnicity or anything like that, but I can say it now. I don't care about that sort of stuff. But him as a person. The man said, as a kid, he told us, I got no working class friends, didn't he? Thought nothing of it. And then in an election campaign, he goes, well, oh, they were going to give all the money to them in the north, but I stopped that and I handed it to you instead. His constituency in Richmond. This man is a total and utter disgrace. This is a man who goes on about his, uh, well, national service. What is what? What do you call it? I don't. What dad's youth army? Maybe I don't know. Because it's all the flipping dads of the dads of the dads are the ones who think it's a great idea to send the kids to flip and war, or national service anyway, prepare them for war. Okay, I know some of it's in the NHS and other services as well. But this, it was basically just a recruitment campaign. It's just ridiculous. It's not going to work. The country isn't prepared for it anyway.
But why has he got this level of disconnect of from the British people? Because at the end of the day, right? Okay, he was born in in the UK, but his family, he has got Indian heritage. Indian heritage. No, come on, Modi, for instance, he ain't that keen on us. No. Understand me why imperialism, colonialism, and all that. Hmm. Understandable when you consider that uh, Churchill thought it was a good idea to starve 15 million Indians during the war. His sentiment, including Richie Sunak, oh, Richie Sunak's sentiment towards the British people, it ain't of empathy, it isn't of compassion. It doesn't. Our heritage, British heritage, Kind of goes against his heritage. We screwed him over, didn't we? Our history ain't great. That's what he'd be told or taught from his family and his family's family. I don't believe he really cares. I just don't. I think he's a despicable human being anyway. Oh yeah, I did the, uh, the furlough and all that, you know. That's, <laughs> look at how he's just hand, uh, handing out your money. Back to you, that's all it is. Flip and roll on. People get suckered in, don't they? Just like that. Don't take much. No. Don't take much at all. It's just, it's embarrassing. Excuse me, but my bear's uh, scraping on the microphone. <laughs> Who's advising them? Hmm? That makes me wonder when I hear stories that, I think from France actually, that Rishi Sunak wasn't even going to go. He wasn't going to go to the Remembrance, Normandy. That's just, I just, if that's true, well then quite frankly, that is just, I can say he's just handed a shitload of votes, isn't he? To the Reform Party. To Nigel Farage, who was there. Now, I'm no Nigel Farage fanboy, as you know. No, I hate him as well. <laughs> For vengeance. I'd throw two milkshakes at him. I would. I don't care what people say. Man's a disgrace. But he has charisma. Not in a good way. He does command the room. People are forced to listen, even if they don't want to, because he's got that kind of voice, projection. Starmer doesn't have that projection. Richie Sunak just looks, sounds robotic. It's all like rehearsed. Everything he does is rehearsed. It's an act. I will be surprised every time he does a speech, he, he's doing it in the mirror. <laughs> you can badge that guy, you know? His eyes are just dead. There's no compassion in his eyes. There, you see when he's angry, like he was the other day uh, regarding the debates with Keir Starmer. There was a level of anger there, and he's trying to get, push over his his lies regarding the two thousand pound extra taxation if Labour gets in for every British citizen in the UK. It's lie, 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 lie. Found to be lied and lies, and uh, is confirmed as such. But Richie Sunak, he left the. Remembrance early, just so he can compound those lies. That's just... Well, they're still pushing that line. Which was it's just an outright lie. He said that the civil service had helped compile the figures. But when it come down to it, they had nothing to do with it. So that was a lie. Blimey. Well, this man, you see, with his 20 grand rent for his first property. And just last year, see, he's never known any, he hasn't known poverty. He hasn't known having to scrape. Or have to have, uh, he hasn't had to have a calculator when you go shopping, for instance. He hasn't had to do it. He hasn't had to do, go online and do his shopping and look at, oh, I can't afford that. What can I take off? What can I take off my Tesco online shopping for delivery? 
Oh, I can get away with that. Oh, I don't know. Maybe no, no baby formula this week. No. It's all about heritage, isn't it? Heritage and, and how you've been brought up. Your experiences as well. Because there are good people out there who've got shit, loads of flipping money, and they do a lot of good. You know? I don't think it's about the money. It's a bit, a bit like guns, really, isn't it? You know? You've got to be one psychopath to shoot somebody, even if you've got, I don't know, 100 ga guns, for instance. do not mean that you're going to shoot people because you've got 100 guns. It's just ridiculous. There's guns all over this place here. Except everyone's got bloody guns. You don't hear of shootings. OK, you get the hunt and what have you. get the occasional accident, the chasse, here in France. But we don't get the level of... Um, Violence, gun related violence here. Flip every farmers have got flipping guns. And I'm not talking about just flipping shotguns, which are bad enough, I'm talking about rifles. The bullets. There's still the post war mu uh, munitions here. I found some in the barn when we first moved here. <laughs> some five shots. Probably from Winchester or something, I don't know. <laughs> still got them actually. So it's like five, five bullets on a little. Chassis and slide into the gun. Got a little magazine. But you can hand them in. If you go to the gendarmes there, you can hand the stuff in. But they look at it and say, what do we do with that? What do you want us to do with that? They go. And you just go off with it again. <laughs> anyway, I just think he's completely like, disconnected. He's an awful human being if you even put them down as that. And he wasn't democratically elected. No, it was for his constituency. But not as a prime minister, no. Even his, well, even the membership didn't even really vote for him, did they? He was rushed in. Blimey. How are we going to fix this? Because I've got my doubts that we can. Anyway, you tell me, how are we going to fix this situation? Huh? I know what you're going to say. <laughs> Leave in the comments down below. So anyway, time for me to go and say toodaloo, you know. Anyway, we're doing rewilding here in this field here. OK, I've been trying to cut the grass. Because I had so much flipping around and an opportunity. And now the sun's sort of starting to dry it out. Um, so, yeah, we're doing rewilding here. If you want to be a part of that, uh, there's a GoFundMe link down below. Where you can actually, well, you have your own tree. And we'll plant a tree on your behalf, and I'll also ma uh, make a sign to go with that tree. And uh, we're making signs on the laser now, so it's a much nicer job. And it is. If you're a memory of your loved one, it could be your name if you like, or, or a pet, if you like. <laughs> Case in point, over there. Don't sniff her bum. <laughs> anyway, time to go. Toodaloo.